Hello, my name is Matthew Kessick. I'm an Associate Professor Faculty Member at Campbell University's Physician Assistant Program. In this short video, I'll be demonstrating our new anatomage table and the many features it offers that will help supplement our program's anatomy and physiology course content. We'll go through the table's programs and functions and how it will help support our students in the program. It was recently acquired through a grant application and will be integrated into our PA didactic curriculum, along with hopes that it will be utilized by other health science programs. This is the new Anatomage Table 8, which runs off of a Windows touchscreen interface with integrated physiology functions. The table utilizes real human cadavers who donated their bodies to science. The bodies were fixed in a specialized gel solution and used high-definition, thin-slice CT imaging. The table compiles the images to create a 3D rendering of the cadaver similar to the human gross anatomy dissection. You will see anatomical variations in each cadaver. Table programs. You're able to access a main menu with these major tabs and categories, gross anatomy and dissection, physiology, clinical case library. In the gross anatomy and dissection category, it allows you to dissect a complete human cadaver. There are five cadavers you can choose from, two Caucasians, a male and female, two Asians, a male and female, and one pregnant female. All right, so here you can see we pulled up the male cadaver. You have the capability to move the cadaver in any orientation you like. With that, we also have the capability to go layer by layer dissection, increasing or decreasing structures. That We can isolate one unit or function. Here we have the skeletal system. Students will also have the ability to do dissections. And again, with the annotation, we can get origin insertions, blood supply, all the information that we would have to flip through several books to get through. So step-by-step, -step, easy dissection for our students. In the physiology section, it allows you to explore several new physiological processes, including the nervous system, cardiac system, and joint mobility and kinesiology. One of the tabs within the new physiology section is kinesiology. We can look at joint movement and articulations. When you click on that, you can rotate and it'll show you the different positions and articulations we have, and we can actually watch this and measure the degrees, also isolating the muscles that are being used for flexion of that shoulder. You can do this with numerous joints throughout the body, which will help the students visualize what muscles are actually performing the action. So again, within the physiology category, this is the cardiology section that's going to highlight the heart itself. You can see the rhythm strip or the EKG here. From here, we can isolate any structure that we want if we want to look at blood supply or electrical activity. We can match up electrical activity within the heart to the EKG function. In the Clinical Case Library tab, there are pre-built cases with both imaging and descriptions of the case. What's pulled up and what's nice here is we have the high-definition imaging, so we can actually see the osteology here highlighting the orbital rim fractures. And then on this side here, we have CT imaging where we can scroll through these different slices. It gives students the ability to kind of put the imaging into what we've always talked about, what the patient will present there are hundreds of cases pre-built. We also have the capability, as I mentioned earlier, to import any image that we have or any CT that we've gotten from the clinic and build our own cases uh, for the students. This table can also be utilized if students are away from campus for an extended period of time. This happens for a number of reasons, including but not limited to COVID or inclement weather, such as hurricanes. One of the new features of Table 8 is that you will also have the capability to screen capture any video or image from the device onto a thumb drive, which is especially useful when creating PowerPoint presentations. Thanks for your time, and I hope I've piqued your interest about the Anatomage Table 8. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out and contact me. I'd be happy to set up a training session or to answer any further questions.